The changing of the seasons means it's time for maybe a little refresh in your garden. Garden guy Dale Kay joins us live with some colorful ideas to liven up your container gardens. Are your flowers still doing well, Dale? I'm sure they are. <laughs> you know, mine are doing okay, but for a lot of us, maybe not so, especially with the heat. And it's a little bit like cooler temperatures, a little bit cloudy, can't wait to put on the turtleneck and maybe a pair of boots. Your fashion for your front of your home and your planters is very similar to that. So it's a good, a good idea, a good chance to go out and do a little bit of planting to refresh them and really kind of embrace the season and everything that autumn has to offer here in Minnesota. So let's take a look at some of the pot fashions first. And I find that uh, for fall, white pottery is really in right now. It'll really highlight all these great colors behind me. Also something tall offers great privacy as well so if you're on a deck or a patio and you need a little privacy from your neighbors neighbors something tall is really advantageous as well also window boxes uh, a lot of people don't like them I like them and the reason I like them is because if you don't have a garden if you just got a deck or a little small space window boxes offer a great way an easy way in a small way to get into gardening which is quite fun as well anything tapered or natural looking is also great as well plastic I think is kind of on the way out so what's on the plate as far as choices for this season well of course you can't go past mums uh, very very popular these are more floral type mums they got a lot of blooms a lot of uh, in powerful uh, powerful impact of blooms which is really really nice I like to buy them a little bit more on the tighter stage just like this rather than in full bloom you'll get a lot more bang for your buck this way and uh, they kind of have this kind of nice little look to those open to those tight buds as well and then you really get to enjoy them opening as well so floral mums very very popular also popular are asters and that's a great way to get some blue into your container gardens of course the ornamental uh, cabbage or kale these aren't the edible kale varieties they're more of the ornamental types but you've got some taller varieties and also some compacts which are, uh, serve different purposes for heights in your container gardens as well ornamental peppers or these uh, these little poppers here great fun for the garden they like a little bit uh, chillier weather than some of the warmer season peppers but even if you do get a little bit of a light frost the peppers will actually stay in place which is quite nice also you've got the Swiss chards uh, which offer some great color in the stems we can just pull that out so you can see those different yellows and rosy colors in the stems that's quite nice all your summer celosia here or coxcomb very very popular at this time of year this one is a great plant this little helichrysum right here it's very very fun very papery as well dries quite nicely as well pansies of course great for cool weather you can incorporate those into your planters these will take really really cool temperatures down to about 28 degrees and of course pansies they always smile at you a lot of uh, another trend with container gardening is uh, adding perennials to your containers so some ones that to look out for at your favorite local garden shop or of course the coral bells sedum echinacea they'll all do quite nicely something tall for the back of your planters ornamental grasses ornamental millet are fun and then for something trailing over the creeping jenny has a nice yellow hue to it and then any of the trailing sedums are quite nice so as far as putting the container garden together kind of know the drill i'm going to use this millet and i guess for the most part you want to use plants that are oh this is really well rooted in you want to use plants that kind of are already kind of established and in bigger pots rather than small or starting from seed because obviously we are on a lot shorter season so something taller in the back is quite nice forgot to mention these rebecchias they're almost like little sunflowers and they're really really nice one of my favorite summer flowers then we'll add in maybe we'll do a perennial sedum pop that in some celosia and really your color palette or what you choose is entirely up to you as far as design but I'm gonna actually gonna leave a little bit of space in front because I'm actually gonna add in maybe a couple of pumpkins here or something in the front and I think it's okay even though it's not always my cup of tea but I think a little bit of faux decorations did I say that with class faux fake whatever a little bit of faux decoration in the back is quite nice and of course we got some room for something trailing over the edge as 
as well. So quite simply, quite easy to add a little bit of fall decor to your home and we'll angle that so it looks right. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Super quick, <laughs> super easy. Great way to embrace fall. Back to you. Gosh, you make that look so easy. I know. You put a lot of plants in there. It looks great, Dale. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bob's your uncle.